Hi everyone, it's Dr. Gail from Southern Pediatric Clinic, and this is your healthy living blog where I help empower parents with the knowledge to help make healthy decisions for their kids. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is books. I always get this question in clinic, how can I help develop my children's language skills? What things can I do with my newborn? And you know, how do I make sure that my child is ready for school? And so one thing that encompasses all of that and helps with all of these things is, you guessed it, books. And we'll talk about a little bit today how to incorporate books into your um, daily routine and how to just really help books help you do what's best for your kids. More and more studies are showing that even a few minutes a day of reading to our kids aloud really helps them acquire new uh, words and have a bigger vocabulary and helps them do things like learn how to sit still and actually be able to listen to a story, which as you can imagine might help in school when you have to start to sit still and listen and pay attention. So we'll just talk a little bit now, really quickly, how to get everything started. So the first thing I wanna talk about is making sure that we start early. You can even start when baby's still in the belly. Uh, reading aloud is something that infants love they love to hear their parents' voices, or their caregivers' voices, their grandparents, or their siblings. And they love for you to sing to them and read to them and really just spend that one and one time with them. Or maybe you have multiple kids and you spend time with all of them, reading to all of them at the same time. Even as a newborn, you can read anything to them. If you're reading the newspaper, read it aloud to your newborn. They love it. They don't know what you're saying. They just know that they hear mommy's or daddy's voice and they just love that sound. And as they get older, they will start to try to mimic some of the sounds that you, you say to them, but they'll only have things to mimic if you are constantly giving them things to listen to. The second thing we wanna talk about is making sure that we start early. So I already talked about, you know, go ahead and start with your newborns, go ahead, start when, the, when they're in the belly. But the research really does show that the earlier you start, the better it is. If you start to have a routine where you incorporate it into your daily routine, it's gonna work wonders as far as your child learning and developing and really just causing more stimulation for their brain to develop. And you can incorporate it as few as just a few minutes a day, maybe a three minute story before bedtime is great. It's much better than doing nothing at all. And maybe bedtime is not the time for you. I know that sometimes bedtime doesn't work for me. And so we're potty training right now. And so I'll sit my daughter on the toilet and we'll read a book, you know? So you just can incorporate it whenever you can, however you can, and just really creating that special time that you can have with your kids. And the third thing is that just like motor skills, uh, kids have milestones in literacy. So they won't be interested in the same things at different stages. They won't be able to do certain things at different stages. So just like, you know, first your baby learns to roll, you know, hold their head up, sit up, then maybe crawl and walk. The same thing happens with literacy or with reading. So we can't expect that, you know, a one-year-old is gonna sit and listen to you a whole book worth of a story. They're just not gonna do it, and that's okay. So, you know, we know that our babies, they don't, maybe not necessarily, they don't need books even with words. You know, things just like high contrast pictures, like this one, are really great for stimulating their brain. And there are lots of books that are made up of high contrast pictures and you can make up a story about, you know, maybe you want to imagine this is water and you just want to talk to your baby about water. But these high contrast black and white or a really bright color and a really pale color together help develop the baby's vision, help develop the baby's brain. And hearing your voice along with those pictures is really what cinches the deal. So, you know, that's our newborns 
maybe our, you know, we're not going to expect our young toddlers, one and early twos, to sit down and really listen to a story. They're going to want to get up. They're going to walk around. They're going to go do something else and then they'll come back. But the important thing is that you're talking the entire time. They're still hearing your voice and they're still going to come back and maybe peek in over your shoulder for a minute and then they're off again and that's fine. And we also know that, you know, maybe on our older toddlers, twos and threes, maybe they don't want to listen to an entire story either, but they love for you to ask them what they see. Maybe start to ask what their colors are because they want to show that they know things, right? So there's just all kinds of ways that you can use books to interact. If you have doubts, ask your pediatrician. When you come for your health tech, ask us. We'll talk to you about different things that you can use in different techniques and what to expect at the different developmental ages. And, you know, we are part of the Reach Out and Read program here. So when you come between the ages of six months and five years old, we do hope that we'll have a book available for you and that we'll be able to give you those and help you start off on that literacy journey. So I hope that this helped you to uh, understand a little bit more about the importance of reading and the importance of books in your kids' lives. Join your local library, um, get used books, or go to the bookstore. You know, you can, a lot of times you can just sit there and flip through books there as well. Uh, but your kids will love it and they'll love to spend that time with you. This is Dr. Gale from Southern Pediatric Clinic. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, please share, and please uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, and we'll see you next time.